first of all, tell us about the film. Oh, um, it's a murder mystery set in a competitive hairdressing competition. That is the film. That is Medusa Deluxe. So, yeah. Which is, which is absolute genius. I mean, oh, thanks. I, I mean, where does the idea come from for that? First um, I love hairdressing. I kind of, uh, I think it's a kind of underrepresented culture, and I kind of wanted to put it on a pedestal. You know, get people to see it and fall in love with it in the way I like it. Um, and how's it feel to be here on? Um, in the, in the middle of the Biffers. I mean, it's, there's there's such a range, there's such a strong range of film here. Yes, and it's, and it's great. It's great to you know, it's great to have, have you here with, with yours. Well, I get like really nervous, so I go bright red like the carpet, and I'm trying really <laughs> desperately just to take my temperature down. So I'm trying to be really cool with the answers, so I can be less red. You can change that in post. Oh yes, that's what I need. <laughs> no, I'm really happy. Like I like British cinema as much as everyone. Like it's a kind of you know, you grow up on it, and there's so many magical experiences I've had in you know cinemas around Britain, and I'm, you know, it's it's a real honour. But when you get an idea like that, how on earth do you pitch it to people? I don't know, I get laughed out of the room a lot. So, like, <laughs> I made a short film about kind of carpets, I made another film about lazy eyes, and now I'm making a film about hairdressing. But luckily, people kind of know, know what, you know, know what they're getting a little bit now. So uh, it's nice to see it on a kind of bigger scale with Medusa Deluxe. And, and do you have a store of future ideas of things that you've tucked away? I don't know, for... there's a lot of things I like. I like cartography a lot, so if I can kind of make maps entertaining, that's that will come at some point. Awesome. But yeah. Um, and what, with the state of independent film, how do you think that's been over the, the course of the year? Because there's some very, very strong films here. Yeah. Um, do you think that's a general thing? Or? I think it's incredible. Like, you know, you know when you actually care about something, like, I really like British cinema, when you suddenly see a kind of whole group of new filmmakers coming through, it's quite special. And, yeah, I, I mean, I, when I was, like, first getting into film, there was kind of the Arva Archipelago, Hunger, all these at Weekend as well, all these amazing filmmakers. And, like... To think that hopefully there's you know people who are kind of just sort of getting into it about 13 and they might see any of the films here tonight. It's you know it's magical. And what's been the bit most exciting thing for you in British cinema this year? This year? Oh bloody seeing hell! As seeing, seeing as we're December and kind of looking back. On I mean, there's there's a hell of a lot. I mean, obviously there's After Sun, there's uh, Blue Jean. They're incredible films. They're really special experiences. I actually saw Blue Jean at the Leeds Film Festival, and it was a really like you could just feel the audience afterwards. It was really nice. It was quite yeah, it was special to be there. And, and that's another thing is being able to be back in cinemas again and have that shared cinema experience. How important is it to to share that experience with people? rather than necessarily just sitting in front of the TV. I mean, it's everything. I'm like a cinema diehard. So, like, I think I saw Cruella, like, was the first film after lockdown. And, like, just, yeah, being in the cinema with people was... It's incredible. You can't ask for anything more. Like, yeah, it's... It's difficult, isn't it? You know when you see a film that's like three hours? I saw a film with one other person in the cinema two days ago, and it's a Georgian film, and we had a really long conversation afterwards, and it was really unexpected, because they'd started the film without 20 minutes of adverts, so I'd missed 10 minutes, and I had no idea. And I, I never do that. I just, you know, you kind of know how long the adverts are going to yeah, go. Yeah. So obviously, sorry, adverts are important. I, I always watch them, but occasionally I miss them. And like, I don't know, it was just nice to have someone fill you in and having that shared experience. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, 